Hello everyone. Today I am going to solve a problem which I have encountered and I hope uh, you have also faced this kind of problem. The problem is that when you are when you are working in your computer and your CD drive is not working. So I will uh, show you how to solve this and apart from teaching you computer I will be dealing this kind of little bit of hardware issues so that it will be helpful for you. So do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel basics. So see uh, I am just pushing it uh, see the tray is not coming out. See the light is blinking but the tray is not coming out. So what you have to do take a pin hmm? you can see the uh, small hole over here. So just insert the pin and give a push see just give a push see the tray comes out okay so this is a simple solution your this thing just see give a give a push insert a pin and just give a push so the tray will come outside if uh, this technique doesn't work then i'll be showing you the next procedure Hopefully 90% this technique will work and if, if it doesn't work then I am showing you the next procedure which is also a very easy process. For this you need to open your CPU. So see I have opened this side uh, the uh, cabinet of the CPU and you need to open the another side also so that you can uh, See this side of the CPU also you have to open. Now you have to bring out the CD drive outside. Okay, You will find uh, screws over here. So you have to remove these screws so that you can beforehand you have you need to shut down your computer okay? and switch off uh, the power plug turn it around. These are the two screws. So I need to bring it out. Open the the so this thing is removed. So you have to remove the data cable your power plug and you bring the drive, remove the drive from the front of your cabinet. See there are four screws, four screws. So we need to open this four screws. So we will open it. Then you need to remove this front cabinet. So both the sides you will be uh, you will see a small this thing is there uh, clip. So you need to just push it. And two more you will find over here also the bottom. Beforehand, you need to push this tray also, bring, bring it out. See, this has come outside. So, open this thing. Pull out this rubber plastic, this one. You need to just open it with the help of, just bring it out and see. This has become very stiff. Use uh, your nail polish remover and just clean it. You can use your lens cleaner also. Just clean it. Once you have cleaned it, you can insert it. Now we will close the cabinet.
and just push it and then you need to tighten the screw just tighten the screw Now, once you have tied it, so we will reinsert it in our CPU. Now, we will put back to its original position. So, insert it from the front. And you need to tighten the screws which you have opened. So, I'll tighten the screw. The side also, you need to tighten. Now you need to put the data cable and the power cable back to its position. This data cable, so put it in the position. Once the things are placed properly, now we will switch on our CPU. Okay, now once we have inserted it, then just push. See, it's working. It's working. Okay. So, it's working. So, in this way, you can solve it. Okay. That's all for today. Hope you have understood. In the next class, again, we will con continue with Java programs. And in the end screen of this video, I will be giving the uh, last three classes of Java programs which we have done. So, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel basics. Thank you.